Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to talk to you about this amazing video I saw. I was going through my heartbeats and I was going to YouTube and I saw this. I wanted to share it with you. I made, I think, 19 moments with heartbeat and it's awesome. This guy here, DIY Perks, you may or may not have heard of him, but he's amazing. He's basically this crazy smart engineer who took a PlayStation 5, literally pulled it apart and turned it into a mobile PlayStation 5 with a tablet screen on it. It's literally a PlayStation 5 that you can take with you to parties and be that awesome guy. So anyways, let's get into some of the moments. It's absolutely nuts. You're going to love it. Let's go. All right, everybody. So here we are inside Heartbeat H.KI. If you haven't logged in or if you want to log in and see my moments. And here we go. On the right side here, you'll see here I've got all these different moments starting at 17 seconds. Now, if you look here, it says the video is 18 minutes and 11 seconds long. And it is very technical. So he shows you how to do a whole bunch of things. So I just try to get the best parts of it. But again, if you want to watch the whole thing, you can just click on this little YouTube button here and it will take you directly to YouTube to watch the whole thing. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to see how loud this is. I'm going to hit play. Let's go ahead and hit the first heartbeat and see what we got. They have everything they need to make a proper portable console. All right, so there you go. So the first thing is very quickly, he is going to take a PlayStation 5 and turn it into a portable console with a tablet basically as the monitor and it is an attached monitor. This is not a separate monitor. You can literally put this in your backpack, go to your friend's house and play games. So here we go. I'm going to take a look here. We'll skip forward. We're going to look at the redesign here. This is the much smaller motherboard. Take a look at this. Significant internal redesign with the components like the motherboard being completely refreshed. Look at that. So the PlayStation 5, the original, is on the left side. And now this is the slim on the right side. So if you have the newer version, you can actually go ahead and follow along and do this if you're highly technical or if you know somebody that's technical. Let's move forward a little bit here. Take a quick look at the next one. There is a format for gaming that's not been explored much yet, which I think will have huge this. potential. A PlayStation 5 tablet edition. There you go, tablet edition. He is literally creating this in his own home using parts that he bought and uh, a 3D printer, absolutely amazing. So here we go. Let's move forward a little bit here and take a look at the first obstacle that he faces, which is the heat sink. Think for example, it's a fairly weird shape and occupies a lot of space. But one action we can take is to swap it out for one that's much shorter and wider. So there we go. He's got a he's got a heat sink that it comes with, of course, but he's gone ahead and purchased one that is a different shape. It's shorter and wider, like he said there. That's not going to solve all the problems, though. So let's go forward a little bit more, and I want to show you what he does next. How on earth are we going to get any heat generated by the processor over to it in this configuration? Heat pipes, of course. Heat. There we go. So he solved the second part of the problem, which is the location of the heat sink is not near the processor. And that processor cooks up pretty hot. I think it goes up to 80 degrees, uh, if, if I remember it correctly. So he's gone ahead and added in heat pipes so that he can go ahead and pipe the heat out to the end here. So the next moment, we'll skip that one. This talks about how it has a 200 watts of heat coming out of the... Uh, the processor but look at this now he's going to go ahead and nickel strip this this is macgyver stuff he does this at home needed for this is some white vinegar and nickel strips plus a dash of salt so he's going ahead and plating the heat the, the heat sink with nickel strips this is created at home kind of like a year a home scientist type thing where you drop a few things into a beaker and presto Amazing stuff here. If I go forward a little more here, you're going to see how he moves the air over the heat sink to keep it cool. Check this out. But how are we going to move air over the heat sink to keep it cool? The original rather gargantuan blower fan is simply out this. of the question due to its size. But what about using several mini versions instead? Look at that. So he's taken out the regular heater or the regular uh, fan, part of me, and he's adding in custom fans that you can buy online from like Newegg or a parts store or whatever and changing that out. So this is absolutely crazy what this guy's got going on here. Uh, you'll see here a little bit further on, you can mount a second heat sink. And I mean, it goes on and on, but the reason why I'm showing you this is because heart heartbeat, you can go ahead and mark the moments that are important to you. So if you're trying to figure out, like let's say you're doing a, uh, a garage, 
you're trying to fix something on your car and you know the video, but you know, you don't want to watch somebody talk for 45 minutes. Get to the point, buddy. Just go ahead, go through the video, mark the component or mark the parts that are important to you and the parts that you think are interesting. And then when you go to do the installation or whatever, it's all there. Let's take a look at a little bit more here. Uh, mount a second heat sink. Check this one out. Add an additional small heat sink instead to provide the extra heat dissipation surface area. So look at that. He's gone ahead and added in a second custom heat sink that he's added in. I mean, this is just crazy stuff. Of course, I, I suggest you watch the whole video, but this is absolutely amazing. Here he goes and changes, swaps out the generic fans. He replaces them with some high quality fans. If you want to take a look here. As I used during testing just aren't anywhere close to being good enough. So after some intense research online, I'm going to replace them with some highly engineered models designed for high power laptops. Amazing. And so this is just absolutely amazing. And then the last thing I'll show you here is he designs a shelf. We don't need to see that, but he 3D prints out a shelf. Uh, he adds a miniature subwoofer that does not come in any of this. Watch this. Include a miniature subwoofer consisting of two 5 watt drivers to fill in the low frequency sounds. If anybody's ever played on a portable console or anything, you'll know the sound is generally not very good because of the poor speakers and it doesn't do very well in the low ranges. Well, he solved that. Look at that. This is absolutely amazing. And then for the coup d'etat, look at this. The, he adds in an OLED screen, not an LCD screen, an OLED screen because they've got better darks and they're just even higher quality. Check this out. The problem with LCDs, and why I don't really want to use one, is that they suffer from motion smearing and poor black level performance. Yep. So instead, let's go with OLED. These provide pixel level dimming for incredibly vibrant images. Amazing. So there we go, guys. Now the final piece, of course, is if we got to test it out, see if it works. Click in. Let's test it out. Does it turn on? Yay. There it goes. The world's first PlayStation 5 tablet edition. Look at that, guys. This is absolutely amazing. This is an incredible video. Keep in mind that Heartbeat has a ton more stuff coming out. We've got Analytics Studio coming next. We're going to have monetization, so you can create your own Heartbeats, or you can embed other people's videos or make Heartbeats of other YouTubers that you enjoy their content. This is all coming. Check this out. Leave a comment below. If you have a video that you think we might want to feature on Heartbeat, let me know in the comments below. Add me on Discord. Thanks for watching.